What's up, YouTube man? Y'all know I'm back with a little. This a this a little this a little like you know part video because a lot of people been having a lot of questions lately, and the question has been about these right here, my tea. So first question is, what did I get my teeth done with? Like, what is it? So the type of veneer I got is composite veneer. You know, I didn't got I don't I don't got porcelain. You know, for all y'all wondering, these not porcelain. It's composite veneers. Basically, I ain't want my tooth shaved down. Super, even though they shave, don't don't. They tell you they do no shaving nine times. You gonna have them big. You gonna have them fucking donkey teeth. You feel me? So if they say they ain't got damn shaving, you lying. They shave. They shave it down a little bit. You know what I'm saying for the composite veneers. For the porcelain, I guess I heard they shave it more. She was telling me they shave it more. So like really little stick because it's a cap over the tooth. So that's more for a permanent thing. I got the composite because I didn't know exactly how it would look. And if I didn't like it, I could always go back to my normal teeth at any time type shit. But I ain't going, you know, I ain't going back to that. So I'm I'm doing the composites right now and then we're gonna go to the porcelain, you know what I'm saying? I recommend to go from the composite and then try to go to the to the porcelain after like you get a feel for veneers and know like how much maintenance you got to do and stuff like that I wouldn't just recommend going straight to the porcelain like that because what if you don't like them and you you can't take them off now you got these little nub tooths you know what I'm saying so I recommend the composite first and if you fucking with them hard and you do them for a year or two then you upgrade to the porcelain you feel me treat yourself like that so that's how I, that's how I'ma do it. I don't know if y'all just want to jump straight to the porcelain because you hear everybody talking about it because it's more money. That don't mean it's always the best for you just because it's more money. I mean, people really be having things like people be having shit fucked up just because it's more money. Think it's always the best. Like you don't gotta jump to it because it's more expensive. You know, whatever works for you if you if you do. But I say I recommend trying the composite veneers first and then upgrading to the porcelain after you understand veneers and understand how much maintenance and stuff it is to keep up with them. So, that's all. The question they had was, did it hurt when they did the teeth? Honestly, I was scared, terrified, because I hate the dentist. I was terrified. I went in there, thought maybe it'll probably hurt a little bit or they'll numb me, but they didn't do nothing. I didn't get no numb. They didn't numb me, they ain't. It didn't do nothing. It didn't hurt at all. It just felt like I was laying down with my mouth open and it was just, you know, just, I don't know, just like brushing them and cleaning them. And they did put some like paste up on my gums and that shit burned. That, that shit right there, that shit burned. But nah, for the most part, nah, that shit ain't hurt at all. People want to know where I got them done at. I didn't go across the country. I didn't, I went to Miami. Went straight to Miami and got them done. It was like a three hour drive. I live in Tampa, Florida. So, quick, quick. What made me want to get them done? Um, basically, my bottom teeth was like crowded because my wisdom teeth came in and it's like, you know, it was crowded up. And then I had chipped my top tooth boxing. So I already had in mind, I, I, I mean, I be on camera a lot. So I already had in mind like, man, I need to get my teeth done. You know, I can't be at these modeling agencies smiling and my stuff all chipped up and overlapped or whatever else. So that's why. So to answer your question, yes, my teeth was messed up. And that's why I got them done. I mean, don't everybody? Asked me where did I go again, how was the process. Okay. So the dentist I went to was Musi King. We're gonna put them here. Musi King in Miami, Florida. Man, they was super cool. They spoke Spanish, so I didn't really understand what they were saying at first. You know, they was just like speaking a lot of Spanish, so I was kind of really nervous about that. But it was a girl in there, she, she spoke good English, good English. So she helped me out, my doctor. She was cool, they was they were super cool, but they kept me calm, laughing, we had a couple jokes, stuff like that. They took me in the back. First I did an online consultation, so I sent pictures of my mouth. They told me if they could do it or not. Then they took me to the back. When I showed up there, I made an appointment, they took me to the back. 
I got back there, I did some x-rays, blah, 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 make sure everything good. Boom. After I did the x-ray, laid me in the chair, gave me some cooler glasses, you know, and told me I was about to get, get the work done. So another question they had is how long it took. It took about a four hours. And laying like this for four hours, four hours. I was listening to the baby album. That's what really kept me going with. Hey, cause I was putting myself in new song. Yeah, that lit can't go like that. Hey, you know what I'm saying? I was listening to that baby. But then my phone died, so boy, I was in that, I was in that motherfucker hurt. So my phone died, not hurt, really, but hurt like, damn, blow. So my phone had died. Whatever they they had a charge, they was charging in the back. So they was just doing the work. The only thing is, is that you laying down for that long and it's so cold, I guess. Like your blood, like rush to your head, cause you're kind of laying at an angle like this, not like this, but like this. Excuse me, I'm getting some work done in the kitchen. Don't even worry about that. But it's like an angle like this. So when you stand up too quick afterwards, trying to check your smile out, you gonna get dizzy or lightheaded. Cause I stood up now. I, I thought they gave me something or something. Ah, nah, I'm just kidding. But I stood up, got lightheaded and dizzy. I had to like, you know, sit there for a little minute. Get right, get up slowly, ease up to it, drink some water. How long it took me till I could eat? Um, I probably, I ate an hour afterwards. Ate some McDonald's. When I first ate, it felt weird. I, you know, I, was, I was scared to bite on stuff, just terrified. You know, so I just was eating a little bit, drinking, drinking waters and juice, eating a little bit, kept doing that. And then I noticed when I ate, it felt like, Stuff was in between my tooth, like I ain't never felt that feeling, like it just felt stuck. Like, so I had to floss, after I floss, it felt better. Boom, ate again, did the same thing, felt better. Brushed my teeth like four or five times that day. Then, so it's going on like a week since I had them. So now, I just eat what I want, really. I just eat what I want, I just floss afterwards, go brush my teeth if it's, if I feel like it's a lot, but, I'm not really scared. I ate chips. I ate the baby chips, the wrap snacks. They good. They good. Um, I just eat what I want now. You can, I guess, you can eat what you want. You're supposed to be. I mean, if you, if your dinner's, if the work's not done right, I guess you can't eat certain things. Like you might break it, but you're not supposed to like drink wine and stuff like that. But I don't drink wine, so that wasn't a problem. Coffee. I don't drink coffee. I got natural energy, but I need some coffee for. Another question is, is my teeth sensitive? No, I drink ice cold water. I just had a popsicle the other day. I was fucking that popsicle up. My teeth not sensitive at all. Like, eating popsicles, it, it just, it's just not. I guess if you get it shaved down enough, it could be, but my teeth not sensitive at all. Um, the only problem I had was the, the day after getting them, like, exactly, not even 24 hours. I got the teeth done, came back home. And I try to sleep without a mouth guard. Like, I'm a grinder, so like I bite down and grind my teeth. So when I sleep and they be bad, it sound like somebody drilling wood with a damn, with the drill. So I try to sleep without this. And when I woke up, I chipped my tooth. I had chipped it, it was chipped. Blew me. That shit blew me. After that, no, nah, I think I had to. I think it had to take some time to settle in. Like, you know, like that was the first day. So like, me grinding on it that hard, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't it. So it had to take some time. It's been a week now. So anyway, question is, how often you got to get them clean? How often you got to get them clean? I would say, probably like, say every two months. I really would say go every month. That's what I would say. But if you, if the dentist far, if you went across, you know, the world to go get them done overseas or whatever, then you 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 just gonna have a hard time, player. But if you went to Miami, and and it's up the street in Miami and or Orlando, then I would say go once a month or every two months or every three months maybe. But clean your teeth every day. You know, brush your teeth. Just cause you got veneers, don't think that. You got the veneers, they're gonna be white, so you ain't gotta brush your teeth no more and floss. Cause somebody said, you know with the veneers, you gotta brush your teeth every day. 
duh, aren't you supposed to brush your teeth every day with regular teeth? Come on, bro, y'all nasty, bro. Y'all gotta tighten up. Um, how much did I pay? Ha, I know y'all wanna know that. I know y'all wanna know that. How much did it look like I paid? Nah, all right, so the, the teeth, the actual, the actual whole cost of the stuff is $3,000, but I caught, a, I caught a real deal for me. 2600 so that that was like that's cool that it won't too expensive or whatever um but basically I got the composites right now um eventually I'm gonna I'm gonna upgrade to the porcelain I kind of like this I want this thing forever so I'm, I'm gonna go porcelain um I'm nervous about that because I don't want to lay down nobody chair for five six hours that shit that shit is terrible that's the worst shit about it is laying down for that long and just waiting and not knowing. Like, you know they show you every now and then and they showing you, but you still not knowing like how it's gonna look when every tooth is done. You not, you're not knowing how, how you gonna like it. And then your bite changes, so like, you know. Like, I had a real bad overbite, but it don't go over as much. Your bite changes and stuff like that, so. Then my front teeth were super big. They were super long, so that got shaved down a little bit. But yeah, man, other than that, my experience, I'm gonna rate it, it's like a 10, for real, cause I got about that chair, I looked in that mirror, I said, I said, I said, oh, shit. I was really shocked, I couldn't believe it, so I went in the car, I just was smiling all day. Now they saying I can't stop smiling. I ain't used to smile as much, but I mean, if you got the money to do it, I definitely recommend veneers. Like if you if you don't like your teeth, you don't like your how your teeth look or whatever, you can fix it. It's your body, you know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta get put under or nothing like that. No knock to people that go under for surgery, but I'm just saying you don't gotta go through all that if you're scared of that. You just gotta lay there and they just gotta mess with your mouth and you know, it ain't nothing too too deep. Um so yeah. If I would recommend veneers, yes, I would, if you had a messed up smile. If you got a natural smile, braces, I mean, I didn't want to go through the braces part. I could have probably, I probably, I probably could have did braces, but, you know, I model and everything else like that, so I ain't really had time to, I did have time, but I ain't had time to really sit there and walk around with braces on and like I was some type of middle schooler or whatever the fuck. So, yes, I would recommend veneers. I say experience rating my experience was like a 10 out of 10 it was cool it's a nice experience i don't want to i'm not rushing back because i don't want to lay in a chair for five hours that's the worst part about it just for me was just laying there for five hours because i don't know i'm a busybody i don't know about you or whoever watching this i'm a busybody i like to do stuff well i definitely don't like to lay there for five hours upside down damn near getting my teeth messed with so you feel me Man, so that's see, see what I'm saying? So that's it for this video, man. I'm just letting y'all know. Basically, I recommend veneers, man. Y'all go get y'all smile right if you need to, girls. If you want to get your body done, get it. If you don't, don't. Psh. It is what it is. I know my nigga looking down from the heavy days. I'm like it for right now. I feel like a heavyweight. I had to cut some niggas off. I had to separate. I told my niggas we gon' ball now.